So today we're going to be reviewing, swatching, and doing a look with the brand new Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Eyeshadow Palette. At the hefty price tag of $68, I think I found an eyeshadow palette that's drugstore that has similar tones, shades, and shimmers. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Cat's Eye Beauty. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm over 50 years old and I love testing out makeup and skincare products, everything from drugstore to high end and everything in between. And today I was so excited to test out the brand new Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Eyeshadow Palette. You guys, I wasn't gonna buy it. And I know I say that every single time whenever I purchase a high end or luxury eyeshadow palette. It's expensive, it's big. Are we really gonna pull from it every day? Is it really worth the hefty price tag of $68? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. So make sure you stay till the end and see if it's worth your money. But yeah, so without further ado, let's get into the video. How you doing? So you guys, I know, I say this every time, with every time I purchase a high-end luxury eyeshadow palette, but I love reviewing makeup for mature skin to see if it's worth our money and see if we can find a better alternative so you don't spend that much money because this is a very pricey eyeshadow palette. Like I said, it retails for $68. This is a 12 pan eyeshadow palette. It is a mixture of mattes, shimmers, and all of these formulas are brand new. This is also a limited edition eyeshadow palette. Now, if you know me by now, and that is a song, I love neutral eyeshadow palettes. They are my go-to. I love it. I'm boring, I know. But when I first saw this eyeshadow palette, I was like, that is beautiful. Boring to some people, beautiful to me because I know I could pull every single day from this palette. It just has that perfect blend of cool tones. I love the shimmers. I love this random rosy shade right here. I don't know. I love the whole aesthetic. When I was looking at this eyeshadow palette, probably after my Earl Grey tea with a wee bit of whiskey in it last night, I thought, holy smokes, this looks very similar to a lot of the shades in a drugstore eyeshadow palette, and it's absolutely one of my favorites. You've heard me talk about it time and time again on this channel. It is from Wet n Wild. It is the Always Naked Eyeshadow Palette. Now, when you first look at it, you're like, no, Catherine, it doesn't look anything alike. But there are some shades in here that are very similar to the ones in the ethereal eyes. There's a couple of shades in there. There's about three or four shades that are extremely dupable. And when you swatch the glitters, very similar. So this one retails for $8.98. You can pick it up at Target. You can pick it up at Walmart. I love this eyeshadow palette. I always pull from it, but this one, a little bit different, a little bit more unique in terms of that rosy shade. So I can't wait to dive into a look and compare them side by side. So I'm gonna keep my lights down low. And what we're gonna do first is I need to prime my eyelids. Now I do have my complexion products on, foundation, bronzer, blush, and I'll put all of that down in the description box below in case you're interested in those products that I'm wearing right now. I've already primed my eyes with the City Beauty Lid Lifting Treatment. This is literally like an iron for your eyelids. If you have crepey eyes and you want that smooth application of eyeshadow, absolutely love this. I know City Beauty is having their Black Friday sales. A lot of sales are going on right now. So if you've always wanted to try their lid lifting treatment, definitely check this out. But yeah, I've already applied that. But when I do eyeshadow looks and I want my eyeshadow to have more longevity and not budge or smudge and make that color pop even more, I go in with an eyeshadow primer. And my favorite is from Gerard Cosmetics. It is their clean canvas primer. It just creates a uniform look all over the lid. It prevents my shadows from creasing and it also makes the colors more vivid and pop more. I wanna go ahead and swatch some of the shades that are super similar in the Always Naked eyeshadow palette. And all the eyeshadow shades are numbered, which I kind of find refreshing, to be honest. Number three, I believe this is number three. It's a beautiful taupey suede shade. And let's see how it swatches. This is a matte shade, beautiful. From the Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna go in with this shade. This does feel buttery too. I mean, come on, 8.98. Now the Makeup by Mario is a little bit deeper, but can you see the similarities? This first shade through here looks like a great all over the lid shade. Ooh, very pigmented too, very light. And then from the Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette, top shade through here, see that? It's a little dustier, it's a little paler, much paler. I love this shimmer shade through here. Oh, pretty. 
that's beautiful. And then from the Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette, this one here looks very similar. Now this one is actually a little cooler toned. That one pulls really warm, which is interesting, but a lot of these shades are quite similar. But yeah, let's, let's dive into a look. I wanna start out with that all over shade right through here, and I wanna see how, oh God, the kickback is ridiculous. Wow, oh please, I hope this is good. I hope this is a good eyeshadow palette, you guys. It's $68, I really do. But yeah, I'm gonna go and start with that first shade, number one, all over the lid. It's just kind of creating a nice, smooth, all over shade, which is nice. Okay, I figured let's do the right side with Makeup by Mario and the left side, Wet n Wild. So on this side, I'm gonna take that same shade that looks very similar. Oh, that has a lot of kickback too and then just take it all over the lid. Now, this one's a little peachier, this one is a little more neutral, but still. Now, on a BK202, I wanna go into this third shade through here, tap off the excess. This one didn't have as much kickback, and I just wanna create the transitional shade through here. Oh, that's pretty. You know, I know I'm boring, I know I love neutral eyeshadow palettes, but they're just, I feel at home with neutral eyeshadow palettes, but this is blending out beautifully. I love that shade. And I like how big the eyeshadow pans are. That's a lot of products. So I'm trying to see the, the positive side of this eyeshadow palette. I really hope I like it though. Ooh, dusty though. That's super pretty. From the Wet n Wild palette, I'm gonna go in with this peachy shade through here, and I'm gonna do the same thing and just create that transitional shade. Very similar, you guys. I'm getting excited. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? You know I've always loved this eyeshadow palette. It's just that good. I mean, there's a couple of duds in this eyeshadow palette, like this really crazy glittery shade right through here. But for a drugstore eyeshadow palette, it's one of my favorites. I absolutely love this cool tone suede shade through here. And I just wanna see how it'll go. Ooh, yeah, I don't know about that. It's Ooh, oh my gosh, I love this shade, it's so pretty. Oh, gorgeous. Since it's a little bit deeper, I wanna take it on the outer thirds of my eye just to create some definition and depth. Oh, that's pretty. And then I'm gonna take it a little bit further in, right through there. Not connecting it, per se, but just creating a little bit more depth right through there. Oh, that's lovely. Isn't that pretty? There is a little bit of fallout, but I'm not worried about it. We can just dust it off. From the Wet n Wild palette, this is the most similar shade to the one from Makeup by Mario. And I'm gonna see if we can duplicate that or replicate it. This is scary how similar they are looking. And then trying to get that flappy fold of my hooded lid to recess back because we want to create shadow and depth. Again, to create a little bit more definition on the inner eye. I feel like doing something different today. I'm gonna to deepen that corner up again with Makeup by Mario, just so we can even it out. Surprisingly, the Wet n Wild shade is a little bit deeper. I'm gonna take that first brush and blend all that out like that and then take my other brush on the left side and blend that wet and wild side out. Okay, so far this is what we have and I think they look very similar. I can't tell them apart, but now we're gonna go into the deepest shade of the palette and it is this shade right through here. And I'm gonna take it on my Angie Hot and Flashy A504. I love this brush because it's super tapered. Ooh, is that a cat here? It sure is. Damp it along the outer thirds of my eye. I really want to deepen up that outer corner and I want to see what sort of pigment and payoff we're getting. Yeah, definitely some fallout through there. And we even primed our eyes. But I really like that. That's pretty. I'm going to run it along the lower lash line. Definite fallout. And that's kind of disappointing. You definitely don't want fallout on your deepest shade in the eyeshadow palette. But yeah, look at that fallout. Now the deepest shade in the Wet n Wild is this one, and I'm gonna take it on a brush, tap off the excess, and do the exact same thing. I hate to say it, this one does not have any fallout, you guys. Interesting, very interesting. Do you see the difference? 
how that really packed on and this that is a lot of fallout and then same thing run it right through there this is rather disappointing that the $8.98 eyeshadow palette is outperforming this one. Not to worry, still early in the game, I'm gonna take that fluffy brush that we initially started with and blend that out and see if we can get that to blend. And then again, really don't have to blend that much with the wet and wild side, but yeah, look at that. Wow, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. This shimmer is so beautiful. And this one, oh, that's beautiful. It's like a great copper shade. Lovely. Now it does have a little bit of glitter in it. You've been warned. But this one to me is so gorgeous. It's almost like a satin shimmer and it's so buttery. I'm gonna swatch it for you here. And that is super deep. I love that shade right through there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it on my fingertip and I'm just gonna tap it on the center of my eyelid oh that's going on like butter this is so pretty this would be stunning as an all-over shade and then you're done because look how smooth that shade is it is absolutely beautiful now for the wet and wild side we're going to go with this corner shade right through here and then we're going to do the same thing plop it on Now this does not have the exact same tone as the Ethereal palette, but it is very, very close. I'd say it's a little cooler, a little more bronzy, and it just has just a tiny bit of glitter. Still a gorgeous shade. I think what really drew me to this palette, I love a good eyeshadow topper. And what was unique about these particular shades is that it goes on almost translucent with just a hint of glitter. Just a hint. So I wanna go in with this cool tone shade through here and look at that. It just looks like a little drop of champagne gold. Ever so slightly tap it right through there and go up a little bit higher just so the light can catch it. Oh my word, this is so pretty. This would be so beautiful for the holidays. Oh, I love it. I don't love the fallout, but I love this. And I know they're different in tones and this looks like really bright white, but, and their glitter is a little chunky. I probably put a little bit too much on, but just so you can see, this has pigment with the shadow. It's not just a translucent and then you've got that beautiful ethereal glow. Hey, ethereal. This one does have a little bit more pigment, but it does have that same glitter effect. This one, I admit, this one is not close, but you get the same effect. Go ahead and blend that out. Blend this out. I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and try to wipe away that fallout. Oh, ooh, may have to redo my concealer. What I'm gonna do is I wanna go up with this top shade through here and then apply it to the inner corner. Ooh, that's so pretty. I can see how you can come up with everyday easy looks with this eyeshadow palette, but with these beautiful shimmers and textures, you can easily do a glam look super easy. I mean, this is beautiful. I'm gonna go in with that same shade, the Wet n Wild, and pop that into the inner corner. Yeah, this is a much cooler tone, but we're still getting the same effect. And then pop a little bit right above the brow bone right through there. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some eyeliner and mascara. I will give you my final thoughts on the Ethereal Eyes eyeshadow palette from Makeup by Mario. But you know, let's clean that up first. Okay, here we are with the final look. Now for eyeliner, I just went ahead and tight lined my upper waterline and my lower lash line with the L'Oreal Le Liner Signature Mechanical Pencil. You know I absolutely love this drugstore eyeliner. It is so good. It is no budge, no smudge. It's fantastic for tight lining your waterline as well as drawing out that smoky eye. And this is in the shade Denim, which is a brown. I also, I was feeling a little, you know, glamorous today. I thought I would draw a tiny, tiny little wing and I used the Maybelline Hyper Easy Liquid Eyeliner. 
and I just tapped it along my upper lash line just to give my eyes that beautiful glam eye. I figured with all the shimmer and glimmer and those nice smoky tones, I would do a nice baby little wing. And then for lips, I went in with Jason Wu's lipstick. I got this at Target. It is in the shade Biscotti. It is such a beautiful nude shade. It is totally affordable, totally drugstore. And just for a little plumpness, a little bit of shine, I added the House Labs PhD lip oil in secondary. Love love, love this lip oil. And it just transformed this lipstick into something so pretty. But yeah, what do you think of the final look? Do you think the Ethereal Eyes eyeshadow palette looks similar to the Wet n Wild Always Naked? Let me know down in the comments. As far as performance, the one shade that I was super disappointed in in the Ethereal Eyes was the deepest shade right through here. That had significant fallout. And it was kind of hard to recover when it fell through here. So if you purchase this eyeshadow palette and you want to use that darkest shade through here, I would recommend doing your eyes first and then concealer afterwards. But I love the shade. I love this entire eyeshadow palette. For me, I'm boring. I know. The mattes were creamy. The shimmers were just so pretty and ethereal. And it's like your eyes just got love bomb. These beautiful ethereal little specks of glitter. I think it's so pretty. And I think it's very flattering on mature eyes. You're not glomming on chunks of glitter. The glitter, if I have to say the word glitter, is so tiny and so finely milled. It's just so beautiful. The mattes are gorgeous. I can't wait to dive into this pinky shade. I know I will pull from that every single day. These are such neutral tones that I know that I'm going to use every single day. So yes, is it worth $68? No. I'm going to use it because I love these shades. I think the formula is wonderful and I love the shimmers. Remember, this is a limited edition. You can get it at Sephora. You can get it off his website. $68 is a lot of money. And if you don't want to dish out $68 and you want to get the same types of tones and shimmers, always naked from Wet n Wild Man. $8.98, you saw how similar they look in tone. Now the shimmers and the glitters, it is nowhere near the quality of the ethereal eyes. But like I said, if you don't want to fork out $68, which I don't blame you, this is a great substitute. But I'm super happy I picked it up. Like I said, I did not want to purchase this, but I love reviewing makeup for Armature Skin and sharing my experiences with you and maybe help you out in spending a lot of money or saving money. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I had so much fun comparing these eyeshadows. I mean, come on now. I hope you had fun. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love it if you'd be a part of our family. In case you want to hang out a little bit longer and check out some foundation reviews, check out the playlist down here. And for skincare reviews, check out the playlist right over there. But for now, mwah, mahal kita. I love you. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.